People send their kids to Roper for a very specific reason. Roper is not like your typical public school or even independent private school. It's a school that is designed for gifted students. Everything we do at Roper is about nurturing the development of the whole child. Middle school is the time to be taking risks. It's the time where, where young people are learning about who they are. If someone came to me who had never been to Roper, I would tell them that they would like the teachers because they're very nice and they're very understanding. And if you ever come to them with a question, they'll always be able to help you. I was very nervous because, I mean, it was a new world for me. Like, it was elementary to middle school, totally new school. And it was kind of intimidating at first seeing how everybody knew each other and I felt like I would never get to that point. But the community is so welcoming that I had friends in the first week. Well, there are a few myths uh, for students who are coming from our lower school to our middle school. So the first is that they are wandering alone in this big school, um, making decisions with little guidance and, um, and sort of feeling things on their own. But really, there are a lot of people who are interested in who they are and, and what they love to do and go out of their way every day, not only to make students feel included in what's being, um, or, or what's happening here every day, but also um, helping students find the things that they really love to do and, and find time in their day to do those things. Homeroom in our middle school acts a little bit like an advisory. So students in this group, it, it's like having a little family in school. Uh, they get to spend some time um, getting to know each other, but they also spend time there uh, receiving advice from, from their teacher uh, and their peers about uh, what classes uh, they might take or things they might be interested in. There's this, this concept that we're all of one piece, and that includes how we function together as a community. So if I, as a teacher, don't view my students first as people with their own agendas and emotions and a life that I don't know about at home, and they also don't try their best to see me as a human, then it's really hard to establish that cohesive sense, uh, not just of community, but of like this energized thing that's greater than the sum of its parts. George and Anna Marie created this school because they wanted a place for people to feel included. Everybody's so accepting of like all cultures and, and religions and races and just everybody cares about one another at Roper. I think the difference between this school and some other school would probably be that there's more freedom at this school and they really understand everyone's learning needs more. And if everyone has a different learning need, then everyone will get that attention. I would say the relationships between teachers and students at Roper is something that I really love. And also how you have so many choices and electives, which really allows this, um, you to explore more into what you're passionate about besides just English, math, science, and the core subjects. Some of the interesting classes I have right now, I have darkroom photography, absolutely amazing. French, choir, forensics. We see our children as being precocious, meaning they require advanced content. We see our children as being complex. Uh, they're not satisfied with simplistic rote answers. And we see our gifted children as being intense intellectually, emotionally, in a range of different ways. At my old school, I usually found myself being bored because we'd be doing the same subject for multiple weeks at a time. But after coming to Roper, I felt like it was much more fast paced. And I think the teachers really wanted you to understand and learn what you were given more than just the test grade. We support students with their academic needs through class choice, multiple class choices. And if there's a course that is not available to students, um, we do offer independent studies, which allow students to delve deeper into a subject or matter in which they're passionate about. We also have about 8,000 square feet of open space for students to interact socially and cultivate relationships with one another across different grade levels. 
Certainly this is a population of gifted students, but we don't talk about being gifted every day. It's really about spending meaningful time doing the things you're good at and the things you love to do, and being able to do that in a way that works best for you. Um, whether you are uh, working independently or whether you're working with a small group, whether you're doing it before school, after school, or in your free time, or taking an elective class that allows you an experience to dive deeply into the things that are most meaningful to you.